John from J.O. Ventures Outdoors. I've got another video for you here, just a short one probably. Um, I have a couple of uh, shout outs to do here, some stickers I received, and really kind of new stickers. And then I've got a couple items I received for trades that are pretty cool. And uh, talk about a couple leather projects. I don't really have any leather projects to show you at the moment, but uh, those have been boxed up and uh, ready to go out. But uh, uh, let's start with the stickers. So I did a, a leather project for Clark's Kentucky Knives recently, Dwayne, and um, he should be getting that. Uh, he got that yesterday, I believe, and hopefully he'll he'll show you that. But um, here's his new sticker, and I love this sticker. I love this, Dwayne. Thank you so much for sending that out along. Likewise, I did some leather work for him. JC Mountain Ajar, and he's got a new sticker, um, Steel Stories. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, both really great channels, and these stickers are very, very cool. And uh, so those will be going on the toolbox here really soon. And so the mail calls. I got a mail call from Singing Toad. Oh, yeah. He... Uh, he and I, we did a little horse trading, um, and it's quite a nice trade. Um, he was very generous, and hopefully, uh, um, Toad, you'll, you'll like your package. It'll be going out today, uh, just uh, completing the paperwork on that, so uh, getting it ready to go. Um, Singing Toad, a friend from up north, sent me this card here. This is um, where it came from, Singing Toad. Oh, have you heard the singing toad, the toad that sang by the road? I haven't heard that singing toad. I guess he sang too close to the road. That's from Red Green. And uh, so apparently the origin of his channel name <laughs> sent me some of these uh, stickers here. Pretty cool. The Toad Tribe. Um, welcome, my friends. Uh, that's awesome. Um, and then some of his new stickers, which I think I might have, but uh, I'll make sure I get those replaced if I don't. But very cool. Uh, knives, gear, and outdoors. Singing Toad. Love it. Love it. So he and I did a little horse trading, some leather work for a knife. And he gave me the options for this, and I was kind of blown away, I'll have to say. And I, I chose one because it's one I've wanted for quite a long time. Um, and it's got a blue box. It's a 5.56 five, yellow mini griptilian. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Um, and here it is. So this has got the uh, 154 CM blade steel. Uh, male, male Purdue design, of course. This has been around for a long time. Uh, these are kind of, I don't know whether these are G10 or some sort of FRN uh, handles, but they're very, very durable. Got the nice uh, Benchmade pocket clip on there. I put a lanyard on it. There's a Jedi Jim bead that he sent me. Um, and, oh, it is just smooth as it can be. Um, just an awesome knife. I've wanted this for quite a while and uh, I do have a bug out, um, but I wanted a mini grip before I wanted a bug out. So, uh, you know, they've been around for quite a while. He said this was gently used. You can see there's a couple little, little scratches on there, but I don't care. This thing's going to be a user. So love that. Love that. Thank you so much, Singing Toad. And the project I'm, I did for him were a couple of slips. And uh, I threw in a couple of extras because, my goodness, I mean, look at this. So I hope you're happy with your package. I'm sure you will be. But uh, I've shown him some pictures already. So then what else did I have? Oh, Chris. Remember Chris? I talk about Chris all the time. He's a great supporter of all of our channels. And he, we're doing a little horse trading. And I'm making a sheath for him. For this knife, and this is the uh, Swiss Tech, and uh, I don't remember the model on this one. 
but maybe I can find out and let you know. I've seen these out there, but this is pretty nice. Um, looks like a G10 handle, or maybe micarta, I'm not sure. Um, looks like you can remove the handle from there if you wanted to, but I don't know why you'd want to. It's probably micarta with a, a G10 liners, D2 steel. Very nice. But it came with this sheath, and um, he didn't like it so much. It looks like it's been cut off or something. And he's um, he was trying to use an ulti clip with it. So um, so what he wants me to do is make a, sh a leather sheath for this and incorporate the ulti clip on the sheath. And I've never done that before. I've always wanted to. So this will be a very nice experiment. and. Um, I think it should work out quite nicely. So uh, I'll let you I'll let you see it when I uh, when I get it done. But there's that, and then he traded me a Kaiser mini sheepdog. Ooh, I think I almost cut myself. Um, still getting used to it. Oh, I don't think I did. Um, Kaiser mini sheepdog, and it's 154 cm as well. Micarta uh, scales there. Ooh, thing is sharp. Look at that. Let's try that again. There we go. I'm still getting used to it because it is very small, which I like, but wow. Um, so, yeah, that's what I traded. And I like it. I do like it. Um, I'm still just getting the hang of that oh jeez but i love the blade shape and i love it that you can get all four fingers on this knife it's got nice jimping up here you do need to be careful right there at the choil but yeah that's a that's going to be a great knife real good utility blade and i love the action this is going to be fun to practice there we go getting better so uh, there's that trade. Thank you so much, Chris. I love this. I love it. Um, he had presented another option, and it was just a little big for me. Um, I, I really can't carry that big a knife around, um, and I don't have any need for it for all that. So I did want to talk about Ulti Clips here just a minute. Um, I bought an Ulti Clip, Ulti Clip Slim 2.2. For this knife, which I got in a trade from Chris, and this is the um, QSB something. I, I can't remember the name of it now, but um, it's a pretty good little fixed blade, and it comes with this sheath. Well, I tried the clip on here, and it worked okay, but uh, I decided to make a little leather strap for it to go. I think it works better side draw. Um, my rivets, I'm not sure yet whether those are going to hold real well. Um, they seem to be holding right at the moment. I'd like to get Chicago screws for that, but I think for now this will work pretty well. And I'm going to give it a try. So there's another the kind of project. Well, I think that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you to Chris. Thank you to Singing Toad. Thank you to... Um, JC Mountain Ajar and uh, Clark's Kentucky Knives. Um, really appreciate the stickers and the leather work. And uh, go, go check out all these channels. I mean, they're just awesome. And you'll really enjoy them. Thank you all for watching.